Hello everyone, this is Alpine Mesh with a new episode of Volcanoids. In the last episode we were finally able to get to the new area that has a bunch of new resources and new dangerous enemies as well. Now we have the possibility to advance our technologies and upgrade almost everything on our drill ship. So let's get started! At this stage uh, there is so many things we can work on, upgrade stuff, uh, research new stuff. But I think uh, I should take care of the basics first. Uh, if you remember in the last episode, I had uh, some issues with the storage management, had too, too much uh, energy consumed by the research and refinery. So I had to turn off my storage and eventually I just uninstalled one of the storages and put a coal power plant there. And now I would like to sort of change the way I manage the storage and change the solution so that uh, it's more manageable and it has a better, let's say, usability. So let's have a look at what we have in our uh, manual storage uh, chests. So here we have a variety of things, uh, all kinds of uh, modules, healing, coke, pickaxe, you see everything you can imagine. And here it is the same, some types of force, even ammo, for whatever reason, because it's for the pistol turret and I probably need it for now. But uh, yeah, the better solution would be to uh, get uh, something out of the storage, which we have too much uh, there. And apparently the biggest number of stuff is copper ingot. We don't need so many copper ingots now because uh, we're pretty well off without production before we upgrade anything. So what I'm planning to do is just take everything out of uh, these manual storages and uh, replace it with the copper ingots and then put uh, the rest uh, into this main storage. Good, so now we have 135 uh, storage slots occupied out of 144, so we have uh, still a bit 9 slots available to us. But I think it's, uh, it's still quite a lot of uh, ingots, so I would like to use another uh, storage chest and put these ingots there. Good. Uh, now we have all this storage for our uh, copper ingots and we can always use it in case uh, we need more of them. It's a really good surplus. I hope nobody will destroy them with explosions. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Now uh, here I have also a little bit of other stuff, but it's just uh, because I don't have use for it right now and I don't think they're a part of any crafting. So it doesn't make sense to keep uh, this thing in the main storage anyways. So now, since we took care of our storage uh, situation and we still have a little bit uh, of space and the storage available for different crafting tasks, we can uh, proceed and start with upgrading and researching the new technologies. This is something I was waiting for for quite a bit. Now, let's have a look at what kind of resources we already have from Tier 2. So here we have two iron balls, two iron plates. We have uh, four boilers. And these are all the items which we need to research or craft tier 2 stuff. And it's really great to have it already available because we don't need to go anywhere and uh, kill the cogs uh, to acquire them because we can just use them. I think I got them from exploring a little bit the area at the top from the mines, uh, maybe from the cogs as well. Yeah, I'm hoping that we will be able to uh, research some new uh, weapons or armor. So basically we can uh, then go and get more of these parts. Here is iron ore, here is raw crystals and titanium ore. So all of this uh, we'll have to refine first, so we need a better refinery. Here we have a destroyed research module tier 2, we can get intel from it, very useful. And also we have iron scrap and we can convert iron scrap into iron ingots, but we need a refinery for that. So we need to research something first. Obviously the coke pickaxe is a tier 2 thing. And now let's go and start the process. And the first place to look at is of course the research station. So here we have two uh, possible upgrades. 
First one is basic refinery tier 2 and the second one would be um, improved explosives. And I want both. Of course, I want the improved explosive more. But uh, unfortunately, I suspect we will have to use the refinery in order to make them. So that's 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 it. And uh, the second thing here, we need to Intel refinery tier one. And here we also need to Intel refinery tier one. So basically we need to craft four uh, refinery uh, tech. Now, what resources do we have here? Since I already have a uh, 10 of uh, destroyed refinery module tier one, I will just use that. So I need to craft four of them. So we will have all these technologies crafting and we also need to go up because uh, it needs a research module. So let's do it. Such beautiful weather outside. Now we can see things are crafting here. Seems to be taking forever. And we have our research module open. So I guess that's a natural thing for this research to continue. And I think I just want to go outside and see what's going on there. Just to, you know, spend some of this time. I'm going to grab me some iron ore. One shot. I'm loving this new pickaxe so much. It saves so much time. It's just like one shot everything. I wonder if it could one shot the cogs as well. Hmm. That is something worth exploring, I think. Oh, I need to heal up. Ah, breathtaking vistas here. Well, that is one part of this game which is amazing. It's so beautiful. I wish it was the same inside of the drill ship. That's quite a far way to fall. Hmm, I see somebody is coming to my ship. Maybe I need to go down as well. Oh no, I think they're just going around. Well, regardless, I need to keep going. I really don't want to meet them right now. I don't have any newer uh, weapons or armor. I hope they're not going to get closer to me. Now. Oh, everything is completed. Okay. Let's have a look. Upgrades. Good. We have production, refinery and improved explosives. Everything. Very cool. What else can we research? Ah, improved structures as well. Can we actually do it? I think so. Ah, we need research module tier 2. Okay. Okay, I get it. And now I would like to have a look at what we have uh, available, the new things in our production station. So, that's an explosive. Uh, I think that's something you need to... Not a big fan of this explosion. Sometimes they're just uh, annoyance uh, and not a big uh, problem. Well, anyway, let's go back to our production station. All right, let's have a look at what we have here and just uh, just to have an overview of what we need to make. Um, hardened drill, we already had it. Uh, corundum drill, corundum, probably. So drill ship drill with the. Uh, Corundum cutting beads allows uh, to travel through hard stones area 3. So that's something which we uh, had already seen and I suppose it was um, somewhere around here. Yeah, exactly. Okay. What do we need for that? 10x alloy tier 2 ingot Intel Corundrum drill parts Intel production. 
Uh huh. And production module tier two. Okay. I think that seems to be possible to do, except the alloy tier two. Let's see what do we need for the alloy tier two. We need one iron ore, one titanium ore, and refinery module tier two as well. So it seems that it's quite approachable, I would say. Hmm. Let's check out what do we need for the refinery module refinery module tier two yeah i think we can do all of that for that we need production module tier two mm, production module tier two yeah we also have everything we need well i guess we already have enough resources to craft the drill well wow, that is an interesting discovery all right let's continue engine two we need two crystals yeah for that we need refinery and uh, yeah again production module tier two steel hull uh tier two alloy yeah that pretty much it's just uh ah steel hull parts okay yeah so my understanding here is that we can actually upgrade most of our uh ship into the tier two and some of the parts into tier, tier three already and probably we just need more materials uh and uh yeah just uh, install the devices for that but as usual i may be wrong about it so we need to experiment with it more now ammo woo mortar turret grenade okay so think first i want to have a look at the weapons there's an explosive explodes based on timer highest damage at the explosion epicenter can be triggered or distance if combined with a detonator we need one iron bolt and four crystals it's not so expensive hmm i'm curious uh, where we can use that let's just try it and see how it works iron armor kit armor provides protection and worn so basically this is something we can wear so like it gets destroyed first before our health starts depleting and we need one iron tubes two iron bolts two iron plates that is something we can already make the next one circular so i can imagine it is for cutting the cogs one iron tubes and four copper gun components one hydraulics yeah we can do that as well much fun ahead now smg one iron tubes four gun component as well we, we can craft all of these things and finally the hand mortar launches mortar grenades or large distances awesome yeah i want all of it i want it now but i think i cannot make it now yet okay anyway let's go over other things ammo mortar turret grenade Mm-hmm. Damage 60 HP, explosion radius 4 meters. Pretty pretty decent. So these ones we need crystals for them. That's nice. We already talked about the slugs. SMG ammo. One iron bullet, two crystals for 100 ammo. Not too bad. SMG turret ammo. So we will have an SMG turret then. Yeah, it's also not too terrible. And mortar grenades. Oof. Uh -huh, so this was the, for the turret and this for was for normal uh, mortars. Now let's look at the modules. Storage module tier 2. What is the difference? The difference is in terms of storage is that it has uh, three times more storage, but it only takes one additional slot. And it actually costs exactly the same number of core points. So it is a much better solution. So I should uh, consolidate my storage uh, modules and just take out two or even three storage modules and put one in place of the three. And then I will have the uh, same amount of storage and just one uh, device. Now, core power plant module tier 2. Basically, it's uh, the same having two, two of the tier 1 modules or one a tier 2 module. But there is an important difference. Uh, the fuel efficiency of tier 1 module is only 500 and here it is 1000. So it means that we are going to spend two times less coal in order to produce the same amount of energy. So it's saving us coal, basically. That's the most important feature of it. Now, oh, this is something new, geothermal module. So my understanding is that uh, when we're underground, we are producing energy and also in lava. Wow, that is interesting. I never seen it before, so I would like to give it a try. Production module tier two. So the main benefit here is the increased production speed. Uh, all, all the rest is just two times more, basically. 
very uh, linear gain and uh, the production is goes up from 10 to 24. Refinery is very similar to the production, it goes from 10 to 24, the rest is the same. And research uh, module tier 2 follow the same logic, so basically all of these modules, they just uh, become more efficient in terms of time they need to produce things. Now the fun part, mortar turret module, it is 2 in size, so it's quite big, but I hope it's gonna deliver a lot of uh, firepower. SMG turret module. It is smaller, so it's uh, size 1, and I guess uh, the problem with it can be that it may actually use quite a lot of ammo. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm really curious to try out all of them. Now for the new devices. We have an armor repair station. It basically functions the same way as the healing device, just for the armor, so you don't have to put on another piece of armor to recharge it. You just uh, press the button and it, it works. And this thing is such a great thing for convenience because in dispenser you can actually take ammo and any tools you want directly from the storage and it's available to you immediately as, as a device uh, in your drill ship. It's awesome. I want to make one right now. And also I'm focusing so much on the weapons because uh, I noticed that right now we meet the cocks which are much more powerful than we can actually handle so i really cannot fight them unless i'm near the ship and if i am near the ship the ship uh, takes a lot of damage so I, I really want to have more firepower for now so we can develop further now for for the dispenser we just need a dial so let me set it up now um, I would like to replace one of these storage boxes with a dispenser. I think I will replace the ammo one. Here it is. So first we need to set it up. I would like to have uh, ammo this type and this type. And also uh, I would like to have a med kit. You can see that uh, there is a sort of, I don't know how to call it, capsule uh, popped up here and it's available so we can just take it from here. See, another one becomes available and we have all, all of this uh, accessible to us. I would like to try something here with this ammo because like we don't have it right now and let's experiment with it. All right. Now we have it in this capsule, right? We don't have anything in our inventory. We take one and we have it. Amazing. And by the way, maybe I want to make a little bit more. But yeah, now you see how convenient that is. I'm going to place uh, this chest here because we need to store our arm somewhere and our main storage is not uh, enough for that. Good. Next. Now I would like to make an armor kit. It only needs one iron tube and we have enough for it. Next, the circular saw. We need one iron tubes and four copper gun components. So this is one, two, three, four and one iron tube. Oh, 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 that was wrong. That was wrong. We need copper gun components and not copper bullet casings. Beautiful. This is something I definitely can use. And I'm going to wear the iron armor now. Good, I feel more safe now, so we can go up. So next thing is this device, armor repair station. We need one dial. Ah, 
I think I'm going to put it somewhere. Hmm, what would be a good place? I still need this information over here. Maybe I just put it on the floor. Yeah, I think that that could work. Yeah, sure. Um, so on the second thought, I probably want to put it to a different place. I want to put it here because it makes more sense uh, to have them in in one place. This looks much better. And now this controller goes here. Okay. This definitely looks much better. Nice. Huh. What? Excuse me? What is going on? Oh, more of them. Oh, 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 oh. There's a lot of danger. Very unusual. Let me loot them. Okay, iron. Nice. Oh. More of them coming. And this is my chance. Ah, wasn't enough time, unfortunately. Now, let's go back to the ship. So the next item in our plan is the production module tier 2, because it seems that everything starts from there. It is a major dependency everywhere. Okay, we need 6 iron plates, 6 iron bolts. And we need one Intel production tier 2. So we don't have enough iron plates. For iron plates we need iron ingots. How can we get more iron ingots? I will answer these questions after a short break. going and <laughs> now you're going towards me i get it would you like a grenade would you be interested in one i have one more awesome i have more of this what what is going on aha uh -huh, you here Ooh. Ooh. difficult but not too difficult because now i have armor and you can't do anything to me well i mean in these circumstances, of course, I'm pretty sure they probably would be able to kill me somewhere else, like, for example, underground. But for now, I feel powerful again. Let's get some armor. Awesome. Okay, let's go back to production. Now we need to get some iron somewhere. And we can refine the scrap, which was so kindly given to us by the hogs. Just 200 hmm, to be on the safe side. And we also need to enable this module to make it a little bit faster. Yes, it is indeed faster now. And this thing is running. Let's wait. Oh, we also need a production module. Here we go. Not a big deal. Done. Cool. Now, where should I put it? All right, so for now, I think I'm going to remove these two because we have enough energy and we have, uh, well, we have researched already quite a lot. And I'm just going to replace them with a new module. Here we go our production module tier 2. Let's have a look from the outside.
Oh, such a beauty. Very epic. It has two pipes. Wow. Hmm. What is this sound? Okay. So probably I'm going to have some visitors very soon. Huh? Not a big deal anymore. <laughs> I have this. Now, where were we? So, my next goal would be to craft a storage module tier 2 because it can replace three of normal storage modules for the price of occupying only two slots. That's something good for iron plates, for iron tubes. I can see it's working already a bit faster. Good. Let me think now. Okay, don't let me think. This is bad. I like thinking. <gasps> hmm. What do you say about that? Interested. Maybe this one? Maybe that one? What about this thing? Yeah. Boring. Well, hopefully I will have a chance to try it out later. No. Alright, so my plan is, I'm going to take out these both storages and replace them with a new one. And I need to have a temporary storage somewhere to keep all this stuff from there. What a wonderful beginning for the next episode. I'm going to wrap it up here. Feel free to subscribe if you like what you're seeing and want to be notified when the next episode is live. I hope to see you next time. Bye!